Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about getting clients for indie app developers. Okay, so today I want to answer a question that came in last week, a video question this time. I don't think we've ever had a video question. Uh, this comes from Vakas in Pakistan. Here's the video. Hi, uh, this is Vakas from Lahore, Pakistan, and uh, I am making this response video, in fact a request video for uh, Eric's channel because I daily see his overpass videos where he discuss um, new technologies or overall other management aspects and his app revenues and you know every day he posts a new video so uh, i have this request that kindly can you make a video to people like me and many other independent um, mobile app developers uh, that what is the best strategy to uh, do the business development um, uh, acquiring new uh, customers, new client work. Uh, what is the uh, best approach in your mind or in your uh, working environment which has worked very well for you and have given good dividends to you? So I thought that this kind of video from your side would help a lot of people, especially people like me who are uh, independent uh, mobile app developers and uh, we I normally gather my clients reach out to my clients from uh, online freelancing sites and but I would like to know what is your success story thank you and keep doing the video logs uh, it's amazing thank you so much bye bye Okay, so really good question. What is the best way to get clients for indie app developers? And I'm hesitant to answer this question because I do not know the best way to do it. I only know what works for me. There are a lot of things that probably work really well, but I've never been able to get them to work really well. Like I know some people are really good at cold calling or cold emailing or doing webinars or doing ads or doing whatever, doing pamphlets but they've never really worked well for me. See, because I'm more introverted than a lot of the people. Like I wish I could go into a, a networking event with a stack of business cards and go up to somebody and say, hey, how's it going? My name's Eric Overpass. We can handle all your app needs. Give me, give me a call and move on to the next person, the next person, the next person, and just be that really extroverted guy who can do all that kind of stuff. But that's not me. So many times I've gone to networking events fully intending to get out and network and I don't, I just, I will just stand by the coffee maker and not do anything. It's a little bit like a junior high school dance where you go to it thinking, all right, I'm gonna go out there, dance with a few girls and then, you know, fall in love or whatever and then basically you stand over in the corner with your friends while the girls stand over the corner with their friends and nothing happens nobody's dancing that's what it's like when I go to a networking event but I've seen other people do it and I'm really envious of the fact they can do it so but over the years I've read so many books on sales and marketing here's just some of the ones that are from my bookcase these are actually the better ones these are the ones I've read more than once these don't include the ones that I've, I've gotten rid of or the ones on my Kindle or the ones I've checked out for the library. And a lot of the things in these books are probably really good advice, but they, I just, they just don't work well for me. There's certain things that I just, like I think it's creepy to know the birthdays of a total stranger. Like I think, or the, the birthdays of a kids of a total stranger. Like they say, you know, make note of, the, of your prospects birth birth kids names and birthdays and stuff like that and i just think that's creepy like if somebody calls me up and says hey eric uh, we spoke last year uh, so your kid's got a birthday coming up huh right i don't think wow this guy really cares i think this is creepy this guy's stalking me but that's just me so i'm just not very good at it so it's just not what i do but i am good at at explaining things to people so what i found over the years is well, I'm not really good at the outbound stuff, but I am good once we get into a meeting, when a prospect comes in and we have that first sit down, I'm good at explaining things, going through the requirements and discussing the requirements. But the problem is the prospecting, getting people to that stage. And a lot of times 
what we focus on is content creation. So we've tried lots of things in the past. We've used sites like Freelancer and Upwork before, but I found that uh, we, we have we didn't get any jobs from that. I mean, we bid for a few, but you know, it's just, I think people, like when I go to Upwork or Freelancer, I'm not looking for the highest quality. I'm just looking for, I just need something done like now and I don't want to pay a lot of money for it. And I don't want to be in that, I don't want to be bidding for that stuff with all those other people. That's just you know, my way of doing it. So I haven't found that to work very well. Every time I go to Upwork, and search for something like Unity Developer, Corona Developer, whatever. There's 500 listings, right? There's somebody who's the most expensive, somebody the most cheapest. Maybe the profiles are compelling, maybe they're not, but it's just, it's just there. So, you know, I'm a big believer in what Gary Vaynerchuk says about pr producing content, making sure you put stuff out there. You because we're in a day and age now where you don't just have to tell people you know how to do something. You could show them. You could show them every day. You, you, when somebody comes to you and says, "Hey, can you do an app for me?" Say, "Yeah, I can do an app for you." Here's my portfolio. Here's all the apps that I've done. Here's some blog posts that I've written. Here's some videos that I've done. Here's what I've done. Right, and it's getting people to find you. And I think this is one thing that I learned well. So for all those years of overpass and not really having any clients, right? One thing I learned from the app stores was it wasn't so much about putting an app out there, but thinking about how are people gonna find this app? What are they gonna be searching on? You know, what, is it, what is the experience I want them to have? And that's one of the things I think about with overpass is you know, how are people gonna find us, right? Of all the app developers out there, how are people gonna find us and how are people gonna come into this stage? And that's why we produce, we, uh, you know, the, the daily videos are kinda outside the scope of it because I'll just talk about whatever I want to talk about in the daily videos, but we do like a lot of blog posts and, and um, and social media stuff. Right now we're doing, we're, we're testing out some Facebook ads, which I can't really report any success on that just yet, but we're trying that. I wanna get to the Facebook ads there, uh, just so we can get into the right, in front of the right people. But in the past, here's some things that I found really good tools were LinkedIn sales prospector, sales prospecting tool uh, is a really good one. Uh, sales navigator is called. Um, we've done cold emails in the past, but with GDPR, we, we stopped doing all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, and uh, cold calling something I haven't really done, right? My whole, th my whole mentality, and I know there's a loads of salespeople out there who will disagree with this, is I can get on the phone and call every business in the UK and say, hey, do you need an app? And maybe somebody might happen to be in the market for an app, but I'll have to dial a lot of people before I find that person. And my assumption is that like, if I was gonna buy something, I would probably go online and Google it. And when they go on and Google it, I want them to be able to find us either through uh, through an ad, through a, a Google AdSense ad, or through hopefully a bit of content that we put out. So my advice to all indie developers who want to look for clients is don't just be that name in the, in, in freelancer.com or Upwork or whatever the other freelancing sites are. Don't just be the name with a profile picture and a bit brief description. Produce as much content as you can. Do it like, like you go to the gym. Like just produce something, write something each day, put it out there. You might, it's small gains, so you might be, might be tempted to quit early, but just do it. It's gonna snowball after a while and start getting it out there because most people still aren't doing it. Uh, now, for those of you guys who run a software company out there and you get clients, let me know your guys' opinion. What do you guys do for prospecting? What do you find works well? Are you good at working a room? Are you good at just going in there and shaking hands and, and punching people on the shoulder and saying, hey, how's it going, buddy, right? Come, you know, come hire me because I'm just, I'm just not that guy. So anyway, that is it for today. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.